Now I know I'm very late to the party getting the named breaking the pattern book but I treated myself to it a couple of weeks ago and I've just finished my first project out of here so that's what I'm going to share with you today. Lovely starshine lights my way to bed Magic rainbows glisten in my head Just like a child I live in wonderland all my dreams are coming true. Welcome to Linen Bloom Heirloom. Now the first project that I've made from this book is this one. The U2 Pinafore dress. And I actually really, really love it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the dress up close. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the construction because there was one particular area where I was ready to throw the damn thing out of the window. So I want to share um, that with you in case you're thinking of making it yourself. Um, and then what I've done is I've um, taken some photos of this dress being worn with six different tops just to show you how versatile it is as well. So I'll walk you through each of those. So here's my version. It's in this really pretty blush pink colour. It is fully lined so I'll show you the insides in a second. And uh, full disclosure, I received this fabric for free as one of my Minerva uh, Makers projects um, in return for writing a blog post for Minerva, which is already live over on my Minerva um, profile. So I'll link to that in the um, video notes below so you can check that out too. Um, so really, really pleased with um, this pinafore. Um, it's my favourite pinafore style that I've made so far and I've made a few. I've made the Tilly and the Buttons one, I've made the Helen's Closet York one. In the past I've made some Burda style ones but this is actually my favourite. Um, it's quite a simple design with, uh, you've got bust darts there, you've got waist darts and you've got waist darts in the back as well. It's a button fasten but double breasted which I think gives it a nice look as well um, and I just like the tailored feel to it and it just makes it so versatile because as I say it's gone with loads of different tops um, that I've got in my wardrobe and it could even go with 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 many more um, so let me just show you the insides I'll just unbutton it so on the inside I've lined it with a pink taffeta which I'd got in my stash and then as I say the buttons I do need to get myself some new buttons these were the only ones I'd got that were the right size and they're just kind of plain white ones um, so I'll in the new year I'll buy myself some new buttons and perhaps look at replacing them but they will do for now um, but yeah it makes it really smooth with this taffeta um, and it slides over uh, many different tops So construction wise then, in the whole it was uh, really straightforward, you sew the darts, you um, sew the side seams and the shoulders, you make the lining up in the same way um, and then you attach the lining and that is the point in which it got a little bit complicated, um, it was the armholes. So trying to follow the instructions that are in the book on how to line these armholes is impossible. Um, and I was, I, I was honestly ready to tear my hair out. I've lined armholes a million times, so I'm not sure why this method seemed to be so complicated. However, what I did find is that Named have got a video on their website showing you how to line this dress. And once I followed that video, it made sense and I was then able to do it. Still seems a bit of a complicated way to line the armholes. Um, I need to kind of think about how I normally do it and kind of change the order in which I sew things when I make this up again so I can do the armholes in a simpler way. But what I'll do is I'll link to the um, video that's over on Named's website in the notes below and I would strongly recommend watching that video before you attempt to um, follow the instructions in the book for the lining because they, they, were, they were just impossible. Um, for me anyway, they were impossible for me to, to follow just because I think it's a totally different way than how I would normally line something. 
Um, this fabric was great, it was um, really easy to work with, it was good to sew, it does have a tiny bit of stretch to it as well which makes it comfortable to wear. The only thing that I did find a bit tricky with this fabric was pressing the darts flat because it's quite a thick fabric and it's got quite a bit of spring to it when I was trying to press them flat it had got other ideas and they kept kind of springing out um, so that was the only thing that was a little bit pesky with the fabric other than that it, um, it, it it's really nice quality I'll show you so yeah it's a really nice quality really nice color I did machine wash the fabric as well before I sewed it on the wool setting um, and that worked out absolutely fine. So what I'm going to do now is just um, insert some photos and walk you through what the different tops are that I'm wearing with this pinafore and then do let me know in the comments which look is your favourite. Um, I'd love to know, I'll, I'll tell you which my favourite is um, as, I, as I get to it um, but let me know what your thoughts are too. So I'll head over to those photos now. So here's outfit number one and this is with a Helen's closet Elliot sweater and in mustard and I absolutely love mustard and pink together and a lovely collar on this top as well. Outfit number two is the Wear Lemonade Stella blouse which I've made with a Liberty of London torn alone. Got a bit of a 70s vibe to it this one and love the bow collar. This one's with a Nina Lee Bloomsbury blouse, again in Liberty of London torn alone. Maybe one more for spring and summer, this one, but love how the colours go together. This is with a um, Breton black and white striped top. This one isn't a me made, this is a ready to wear, um, but again, really like how the pinafore dress looks with that top. This one's with a plain white shirt. Again, the shirt is ready to wear. I've not made it, um, but I think the white buttons actually work really well with the white shirt. And this one's my favourite. So this is it being worn with a pale blue cashmere sweater. Again, ready to wear um, and it's super cosy and soft. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope that you like the pinafore as much as I do. I'm definitely going to be making more versions of this. Um, I don't think I've got any fabrics in my stash that would be suitable for it at the moment, but as I buy, uh, think about buying any new fabrics in the new year, I think because it's such a versatile dress and can be worn with loads of different things, definitely want to make more versions of it, so I'll keep you posted on any um, new versions, maybe different fabrics. Thinking a couple of nice corduroy ones um, would be absolutely lovely, so I'll keep you posted about that. If you've enjoyed the video then do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the alarm bell so you get notified of any new videos and um, have a lovely new year as well. This will be the last video that I post until 2021 so I'll see you in the new year. Bye! All my dreams are coming, all my dreams are humming, all my dreams are coming.